Your ass, Doug McKelvin, along with Kelly Jackson and the rest of the crew. This is something that broke yesterday uh, while you were busy Asleep. taking a no, <laughs> no, taking a day off. I mean, okay. you gotta have, somebody's got to have a day off. I mean, and, yes. and your Mondays are your day uh-huh. off for. Um, U.S. Supreme Court sided with New Jersey, ruled the Professional and Amateur Sports Protection Act unconstitutional. It was a six to three margin. Uh, 1992 law banned sports betting in states that were not Nevada, Oregon, Delaware, and Montana. Now Jersey can offer hmm. sports betting at racetracks and casinos. I'm, we talked about this a little bit. I'm not so sure that Missouri won't follow suit at the local casino. Oh, heck yeah, it's a mm-hmm. chance to make more money. Yes, exactly. And a personal favorite of mine, American Airlines <laughs> has had it. They're issuing a list of banned service and emotional support animals that can't be brought on board flights starting on the 1st of July. On the list... Amphibians, mm. ferrets, goats, hedgehogs, insects, reptiles, rodents, snakes, spiders, sugar gliders, sugar poultry. Gliders. Sugar gliders are like a squirrel that that oh. little squirrely looking thing. Okay. Poultry, waterfowl, birds of prey. Oh, come on, you can't bring your <laughs> falcon on board. I love it. All animals with tusks. <laughs> Horns or hooves, with the exception of a noble miniature horse. And any animal that spells bad. Could we do this with some of the passengers who smell bad? Oh. Policy is due to a 40% rise in the number of people transporting a service to support animal between 2016 and 17. I've been on a flight where somebody had an animal. That animal is not a support animal. They just didn't want to have to check the animal through and put it in a cargo hold. I mean, really? A support goat? <laughs> I think, that, you know what really tipped this thing? It was the guy who wanted to bring the... Uh, it was a peacock. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wanted to put a peacock on a plane. A and support they, peacock. And when the airline said, no, nah, I don't think so. Mm-mm. No, you can ship the peacock. It's but just you, gotten out of control. Yeah. Netflix. And we've talked about this before. Owning the content, making it, owning it, and distributing it is where the money is. Mm-hmm. And Netflix is pivoting. They're spending the vast majority of its new spending on original programming rather than content owned by somebody else. Mm -hmm. 85% of new spending going toward original production rather than, say, buying the streaming rights to other companies' shows. Mm -hmm. Netflix will have about 1,000 originals by the end of the year, 470 of them. I know. Can you say binge-watching? I know. Now, here's the downside to the whole thing. If If you like watching some of those old shows, you know, Star Trek's, whatever Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what's that going to do for netflix because this is going to clog up their stream of course it doesn't matter i don't think so boy it's Mm -hmm. something else yeah so yeah you know they're kind of going into more of the i hate saying reality programming but they are they're buying up reality programming now too and there's a company called uh patreon patreon alexis is it patreon patreon okay you don't know that's okay at any rate, it's a platform that allows 2 million patrons to contribute on a regular basis to about 100,000 creators. They've paid out about $350 million to such creators over the past five years, and this year expects to transfer over $300 million from fans to independent art- artists and content producers. Mm. If my son is listening, Ryan, remember we talked about just come up with that one app, that one app, charge a dollar, and retire young You're good to go. and happy. Mm-hmm. Those are the numbers at 745 here on the Big 5.